Welcome to labminutes.com. In this video, we will be looking at a router feature called Configuration Archive and Replace. Usually when you want to make changes to your router config, the first thing you do is to save it somewhere. You're, you're currently running config somewhere, such as Flash, so you do copy run Flash, which is fine. But later on, you might discover that you might need to revert back to that config, so you might be tempted to do copy Flash running config. But the result that you might get might not be what you expected. So let me show you why. Here on router 1 we have a interface configuration let's see F00. Let's see where we have a standby IP1 configured so let's save a config copy run flash let's call it a start1 CFG save so show flash and the file that we save is right there. Now let's make some modification to that configuration uh, of the interface. Let's add one more command. Well actually let's delete standby IP1 IP and then let's just add standby one preempt. Let's actually delete that. Okay. Now let's say that you want to revert back to where you were with the standby one IP. So if you do copy flash start one CFG to the running config. And let's check the configuration of the interface. So you can see that the standby one preamp is still there, which is not what you expected. What you expected was just a standby one IP command. And the reason this happened because when you do a copy flash to the running config, it's actually a merge operation and not a replaced. So this is where the configuration replace comes into play. The command that you need is configured replace and this is where you point to your previously safe uh, config one dot cfg uh, let's see if there's other options that we can do we can list so it will tell you exactly what command was add was added or uh, deleted so let's try that you can actually also do time so you set a timer for this for this operation to be executed for up to two hours so we're not going to do that, so just do list and it's going to ask you to confirm, well, yes set yes as you can see right here the standby one preempt command is remove so if you look at the interface configuration again standby one preempt is already gone so that's the configuration replace next we're going to look at the configuration archive which is just an add-on to that so the command for that is archive so we're going to turn on archive we have to tell the path which is where the file format, the, the, the name of the file, where the config is going to be stored. So here we're going to store it on flash. I'm just going to call it um, config archive. Okay, and we're going to set the maximum number of copies that uh, we will keep in the flash. I'm just going to do um, let's say 10 okay so if you show archive there's really nothing um, in the archive right now so the command to create an archive is archive config show archive 
now you can see we have one entry in the archive. So next let's make uh, some changes to the configuration. Now we can add the standby one preempt command back in. And that's our first change. We're going to repeat the archive config command. Again, make sure the another backup copy has been created in the archive, which it did. So that you can see right there's this indicator that says most recent. All right, let's make one more change. Now we're going to do a standby one. Let's try priority 110. Okay. And let's do archive uh, config one more time. Now you can see there are three entries in our archive. All right, let's see what we can do with the archive feature. So if you do show archive config, we can check the differences between the archive copy. Let's say we want to compare the first copy and the second copy, which is where we um, enter the, the standby preempt command. And you can see the difference shows that from the first copy to the second copy, the standby one preempt was added. What about if you compare that to the last copy, which is our current running config? And you can see two commands were added between the first and the last copy. Let's do a quick show flash. archive say config replace this say yes and you can see the standby preempt and standby priority command has been uh, removed from the config okay so let's clear the screen to show archive with the three copy. Let me show you one more command. Show archive config and here you have incremental diff. So what it does is it tells you what commands has been added to the running config since the first copy of the config archive. So if you do the latest one here it tells you two command has been added since. And if you take one step back to the second config, here it tells you one command has been added. So there you have it, config uh, archive and replaced. Uh, I hope you find this video useful. So. Thank you for watching LabMinutes.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.